The first football huddle took place in 1892, when Gallaudet College football team was playing a game against a Pennsylvania deaf school football team. During the game, Gallaudet quarterback Paul Hubbard, who was also deaf, became worried that if his team signed their plays out in the open, even with their backs turned to the other team, someone in the stands would be able to read their sign language and warn the defense what the upcoming play was going to be. So rather than sign their communication out in the open, Paul told his team to gather around in a tight circle, and they signed in the middle of the circle to discuss the upcoming play. This gave birth to the modern football huddle. And if you're wondering what other football teams did prior to the huddle, they would just walk away from the line of scrimmage out of earshot of the other team and discuss the upcoming play and then return to the line of scrimmage to prepare for the snap. But this obviously didn't work for deaf football teams who needed to communicate in sign language.